Hi everybody, I am Serdar. I am an AWS and DevOps instructor at Clarusway. Today we will learn creating record sets by using the AWS Route 53 console. Route 53 routes the internet traffic to the resources for your domain. When a user opens a web browser and enters your domain name, for example clarusway.com or subdomain name, for example help.clarusway.com into an address bar, Route 53 provides a connection between the browser and your website or web application. After you register your domain name, Route 53 routes the web traffic of your domain with the help of the DNS record sets and DNS policies. Each DNS record set includes information about how you want to route traffic for your domain. They provide you to manage user queries to an alternative website. Thanks to the DNS record, we can associate our website to one IP, multiple IP or any name. In this video, we will create an A record or we can say address record for our website. A records are the most common DNS record by the way. It's used for matching with the domain or subdomain to IPs. I'll launch uh, an EC2 instance and install an Nginx server on it. The website is uh, being published on EC2's IP right now. I'll create an A record for this IP. If you are ready, let's get started creating our A record. First of all, sign into the AWS Management Console using your credentials and open the Route 53 console. Click the Services button and click Route 53. In the navigation pane, uh, choose Hosted Zone here, or you can click this Hosted Zone. On the Hosted Zone page, choose the name of the Hosted Zone that you want to create records in. Of course, you need a domain name for creating this record. If you don't have, before you start, please create or buy a domain name. You can buy a domain name on AWS using Route 53 service. I have clarusway.us domain name and I'll create a record using this one. Choose this domain name and then you can see the NS and SOA record type and I'm gonna create a record type and then I click this record type. In this page we choose and define the applicable routing policy and values. The routing policy determines how Amazon Route 53 responds to queries. For this scenario, we are routing traffic to just one resource, such as a web server. That's why we select Simple Routing. Click next to Configure Records. Here we can create multiple records at a time that have the same routing policy. Let's select Define Simple Record. On the menu opened for record name, we enter Rio. So we want to reach our website when entering the browser rio.colorusway.us. You may not enter anything uh, here. This time, when you enter colorusway.us, you will see the same page. For record type, we select the a routes traffic to an APV4 addresses and some AWS resources. For value route traffic to, we enter IP addresses or another value depending on the record type. We should write our public IP address of Nginx server and I'm gonna copy it, then paste it here. And then TTL means uh, time to leave and points out the amount of time in seconds that DNS resolvers and web browser cache the settings in this record. Default value 300 is enough for us right now and click define simple record. You can see the record you, uh, you created here and click create record. Now let's check our A record. Uh, as you see in the screen, A record has been created and listed together with SOA and NS records. 
So when we write a browser, uh, reu.colorspay.us or whatever your domain name is, you'll see our web page. I'm going to write here reu.colorspay.us and here it is, our web page. Finally, let's check this from the terminal. Please open your terminal and uh, when writing the command of ping ryu.colorsway.us it's going to ping uh, to our subdomain and you'll see the public IP address of our EC2 instance. This shows us this subdomain is addressed to public IP of our EC2 instance. Before you try this ping command, guys, please make sure that ICMP protocol is open on your EC2 instance security group. To stop pinging, press uh, Ctrl Z. In this session, we have learned how to create A record sets to route the internet traffic to the resources for our domain. Thanks for watching. See you in the next session to create Route 53 C name record.